headed to the job site, building with Tinker. Never know what you're gonna expect when you get there. When Dan gets to the job site today, he's gonna get stung by the world's biggest scorpion. My name is Eric Tinker, and I build homes for a living. I want to take you behind the scenes and show you all of what goes on during the home building process. We are going to meet designers, fabricators, and various people and companies who help bring these homes to life. Oh, and we like to have a little fun along the way. This is Building with Tinker. One of my favorite materials used on our recent Santa Barbara style build is this old Chicago brick. This stuff is awesome. It's actually reclaimed from old brick buildings in Chicago. We used it in the backyard, the front yard, on columns, fireplaces, in the entryway. This brick is really popular to build with right now. In fact, I was just on a local news station talking about it. You were telling me a little bit earlier about this unique brick here, because this is from Chicago. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. This, as you can see, this is all torn down out of Chicago and okay. brought in. You can still see the mortar. Right. And basically, they take trials and they knock this off, mm -hmm. this, uh, this mortar, and you can use it for hardscape or cut it into thinner veneer brick. Okay. So you can use it on walls, ceilings, and a lot so of people are really So this is stuff really that people this. are requesting? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah, this is really popular. With that being said, why don't we head to Chicago and learn a little bit more about this stuff? If you haven't been to Chicago, you need to get out here and check it out. It's a pretty cool place. Luckily, I get to come out here quite a bit because my wife Kirsten is from here and we always have a good time. As a builder, I can really appreciate the architecture. There's a lot of cool buildings in Chicago and there's a lot of them. We're in downtown Chicago. As you can see behind me, this place has amazing architecture. A lot of the buildings still have that old Chicago brick, but in order to get a better understanding of it, we need to go back to 1871. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871. So this is how it all went down. In 1871, Chicago nearly burnt to the ground. The fact that around two thirds of the city was built with wood really didn't help matters. The fire destroyed over 17,000 buildings. Behind me is the old Chicago water tower, which is pretty cool because it's only one of five original buildings that survived the fire. After the fire, the city had to rebuild, and so they put an emphasis on fireproof materials, making brick very popular. So large amounts of brick were made using natural clay unique to the region. The bricks were made by hand and heated in kilns at a wide variation of temperatures, so the resulting bricks weren't uniform in color or texture. These common bricks were cheap and abundant, so the city quickly put them to use in the rebuilding, and that's how the Chicago common brick came to be. If you look closely, you can sometimes even see the old company's names or union stamps on the bricks. Today, as old buildings are demolished in Chicago for new development, brick companies are coming in and salvaging the old brick. We actually stopped by such a company called Colonial Brick. That's where I got all my brick from. So back then, people actually thought the brick was ugly. They thought there were too many irregularities in shape, size, color variation. They wanted uniformity. They wanted everything looking the same. The irony of this is, when it comes to using brick for home building, nowadays, people want the imperfections. They don't want the uniformity. It's too boring. And now you know a little bit of history about this unique brick. It's time to introduce you to Dan. Dan is the man. He's been with the Tinker team for about three years now. He's a jack of all trades. He could pretty much do anything. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to mention about Dan. He's crazy. He's fearless and he's pretty much up for anything, which makes it that much better for me because we're constantly betting and pranking each other. My name is Dan. I've been doing construction for about 30 years now, every aspect of a house. Unfortunately, Dan lost the last bet, which was to get stung by a scorpion. 
So I found a monster. So nobody wants to catch this guy nor chase it. So that's why we're building this four x four pin to keep this guy contained. For Mr. Dan, all right, this one's gonna be good. He seems to like me. What's thing? What's thing? Little guy likes me. Challenge accepted, all right. <laughs> okay, so there's two things we learned from this. One, Dan needs a manicure. Two, he's a scorpion whisperer. Plan B, we're gonna set Dan up on a fake interview talking about trees. But lo and behold, there's a little bit of a kaboom that's gonna go off. We're gonna blow Dan up. What am I talking about? Okay, so Moon Valley drops off these big trees. Cool looking crane. Picks up the tree. What was that? What'd you think of that prank, buddy? That was yeah. good. That yeah. was good. <laughs>